Hello, everybody. I'm Lynn McTaggart. I'm author of What Doctors Don't Tell You and Get Well magazines, and also one of the founders of the Get Well Show, which is going to be at Olympia February 21st to 23rd of 2020. And I am here with one of the people who are going to be speaking at the event, the amazing Dr. Sarah Myhill, who is an incredible integrative specialist, a medically trained doctor. And I, I'd love for you to tell people about yourself, Sarah, and why you're a little bit different. <laughs> I'm a conventionally trained doctor. I started practicing in NHS medicine in 1981. And in the year 2000, I went into independent general practice. And the reason I went into independent general practice is because within the NHS, I did not have the clinical freedoms I needed to be a good doctor. And the problem with conventional medicine has to do with drugs and symptom suppression. Because if you go to your GP with a headache, you will get a symptom suppressing drug. And that is how blood pressure, high cholesterol, and so on is treated. So I'm interested in the root causes of illness. I want to know what people eat, how they live, which supplements they're taking, if they've been poisoned by anything, because that is at the root cause of all disease. And by working out those re root causes, you can then work out why they've got the problem and how you can fix it with simple, nutritional, safe, um, demonstrably, scientifically proven interventions. Fantastic. And one of the areas that you've really concentrated on is chronic fatigue. Now, why are you so passionate about that? Chronic fatigue syndrome and ME are the worst treated conditions in the whole of Western medicine. Why? For the very same reason that the root causes of this condition are not looked for and, um, and addressed. Instead, patients get treated as if they're hypochondriacs or if they're psychiatric cases and told it's all in the mind, and that, that actually makes them worse. And in treating patients with chronic fatigue syndrome, there are four big players with respect to energy delivery mechanisms. And an analogy that I use all the time is the car analogy. And to get well from this illness, you need to have the right fuel in the tank. If I put petrol in my diesel car, it's just not going to go. And that fuel in the tank is all about diet and gut function. And I probably talk about that more than all other subjects put together. It's so important. You then have to have what I call the mitochondrial engine. And this is the area where I've done some original research demonstrate that mitochondria are centrally important in patients with chronic fatigue syndrome and guess what they go slow and why do they go slow for reasons that we can all address because of nutritional deficiencies and because they are blocked by something that might be toxic stress from the outside world poisons or toxic stress from the inside world and again it's all stuff that can be easily fixed oneself and then we have what i call the thyroid accelerator pedal and guess what if your car is running at five miles an hour, you know, and, and your um, uh, thyroid gland is set low, you're not going to achieve. And then finally, we have the adrenal gearbox, and that allows us to gear up to um, demand in response to stress. And by addressing those four issues, you can greatly improve energy delivery at the cellular level and transform the lives of patients with chronic fatigue syndrome. And just to let people understand what mitochondria is, which has been a real uh, signature part of your work that's the power pack of the cells right that's, that's what correct, gives yeah. your, that's, that's what the gives engine. the cells their oomph correct that's the engine and actually mitochondria are implicated in almost any pathology you care to mention from cancer dementia heart disease so by fixing your mitochondria you're going to protect yourself from getting those diseases later on in life now people come to listen to you uh, speak at the Get Well show, what can you, what do you think uh, is going to be the main takeaway that they get? What will they gain from listening to you if they have chronic fatigue? The, the most important take home message, if you, if you like, is that I can give you the rules of the game and the tools of the trade so that you can fix yourself. And that is important because we do not have the doctors, and we have lots of good nutritional therapists, but we still do not have sufficient in order to help those people. So what people have to get their heads around is they have to do it themselves. They have to work it out for themselves from the first principles. And that's why I've written the books, because within the books, 
I detail, you know, um, what the symptoms are, how to know from the symptoms what mechanisms are going wrong, and from those mechanisms, as I say, the tools that you need to fix yourself. And these tools are simple, straightforward tools that we all have access to. So I hope this will be an empowering event to allow people to take control of their disease. Wonderful. And I really encourage anybody who has chronic fatigue or ME or who has a loved one with uh, one of those conditions, come see Sarah. You'll have a chance to talk to her in person, an amazing chance. She'll be there uh, on Friday and Saturday, and she'll be speaking about this. And you can also get hold of her books, uh, which have incredible things about healing yourself. So thank you, Sarah, and we look forward to seeing you at the Get Well Show. It will be fun. I look forward to that very much indeed. <laughs>